Hello my YouTube friends, I'm super excited about today's video. People love voice changers for live streaming, and I don't blame them, they're so much fun. But a lot of the software out there just sucks, and if you want good options, you usually have to pay for it. Today, I'm going to show you how to get unlimited voice changing options for free using OBS. You're going to love it! Let's get right to it! According to my analytics, 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? Let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or a live streamer, then subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. We're going to use VST plugins to change our voice. They've been available for OBS for a long time, and usually people use them to clean up their audio and add a bit of punch to their voice for live streams. But there are a lot of VSTs out out there that can do a lot more and I'll show you three today that are totally free. The first one we're going to download is GVST and we're going to use this G-Form plugin and we probably want the 64-bit version so we're gonna scroll down and get the 64-bit. Like I said the links for all these plugins are in the description and we're just gonna download it to our hard drive and then we're just gonna go into the folder you can see it's just a DLL. We're gonna right click on that and copy it. And then we're going to go into our hard drive here. And in this case, we're gonna go to the main hard drive. We're gonna go into program files and we're looking for our VST plugins directory. And we're just going to go into that directory and paste these files in there. So there we go. Now that is for programs files. There's also one in the programs 86 and you can just paste it into there as well, just in case super simple and easy so now we have our first plugin installed let's do our second one and this one is M audio plugins you can just go to download and we're going to download right here from the preferred and it just puts the file on our computer and this one has an install so we're just gonna run the install double click on it and we're gonna click next here and we're gonna agree to the licensing terms and click next we're gonna unselect AAX and M Sound Factory instruments. I usually go in here and I select none. We only want one plugin off of here. There are a whole bunch of free ones you can try out if you want. But we want this M Charm Verb. We're gonna select that and click next. You just wanna make sure it's going into the proper directories, the VST plugin directories. And in this case, ours is going into the proper directories. We're gonna click install. You can clean up if you have other plugins in there, but we don't need to do that. We're just gonna click install. And of course, this is gonna give me some problems because I already have it on there. We're good to go. The last one is this Auburn Sounds and there is a link in the description of this as well. It's a free edition so we're going to download that and that's going to show up here as the Grillion and we're going to go into our operating system of choice. In this case it's Windows. We're just going to double click on this and run it and we're going to unselect AAX and next we want to make sure it's going to the VST plugins which it is and next and then the same thing, the VST plugins, and we'll install it. And of course, mine gives an error message because it's already on there. We're just going to ignore that and we're good to go. So now we have all of our plugins installed properly. Now, these are just three of the hundreds of free ones out there that all install basically the same way. Let's configure these up. Now that it's installed, let me show you how this works. So we're going to select our audio device. In this case, it's a video capture device as well, and we're going to right click on that. We're going to go to filters, and we wanna mess with audio video filter, so we're gonna click the plus here, and we're going to select a VST plugin. And in this case, you can set up multiple different ones, and I'm gonna show you how, but let's start with the high voice, or let's call it girl voice, because we can set multiple voices. So I'm gonna select girl voice, or type in girl voice, and click OK. And then I'm gonna go here to select my plugin, and we're gonna use the G-Form one we just installed. And I'm gonna open that plugin interface right here. And now, if we adjust our pitch right here, you can hear our voice gets really high. And that's what we're looking for with a girl voice. So when you do that, then you can adjust the format here and it will make it more cartoony and squeaky. Or if you go down to the bottom end, 
Girly voice, you're gonna kind of go in here where it's more natural. That's kind of what you're looking for. And it works the same on the other end. But let me show you. We're gonna go into here to tweak. And we want to set the lowest frequency here and the highest frequency here. So no matter how my voice modulates, we're gonna get the whole spectrum. And so now we've got our girl voice. I'm just gonna exit out of that. And we're gonna go in here. I'm gonna turn this off. And now we're back to our natural voice. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus again. We're gonna go to our VST and let's go with low voice and click OK. And now we just need to set it. We're gonna use the same, the G-Form plugin. We're gonna open the plugin interface. And now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna go low and you can see and if you're listening in your headphone like I am, this is really disconcerting because it's gonna sound like it's delayed in your headphone. And it is slightly, it's slowing down your voice. So just understand that's a process that happens with this. And you can adjust format so we can go way frequencies. And you just want to adjust this. So it sounds natural to you. This has a high tuning piece to it. And this is kind of more of a slow, deliberate. So you want to go with what type of sound you're looking for. We can really go low and slow down. Or we can go, or we can go slightly more natural sounding. <laughs> it's really hard to do this when I'm listening to it. Or you can go slightly more natural sounding. And now we have two different voices. We're going to go ahead and close that out. And we can turn them off by clicking the little I button here. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add that reverb in your voice so it sounds like you're speaking in a huge auditorium. So we're gonna go right here and click this plus once again. And we're gonna to go to the VST plugin and let's call this one Stadium. We'll click OK and we're going to select our plugin and for this one we're going to go to m charm reverb or just m charm verb and we're going to go ahead and open up the plugin and now you can hear it sounds like we're in a gigantic hall really awesome and all you have to do is click this and we can turn it off so we can just play the whole key game and just use the hot key anytime we want to shout something out welcome back it's really that easy so let's go ahead and open this up here so for this there's a preset you can go in here and it has all these different presets and let's turn it on here real quick with these presets, all you have to do is select one and click load, and it'll give you a different effect for each one. We'll go into crazy and superficial kitty. And some of these are dry, some of these are real wet. Either way, you're gonna get reverb on each one. Let's go with slapstick, and we're gonna go with elaborate answer. And you got to play with these to see what they sound like when you load them up. There's a vocal one. Some of these are like super crisp, something like this. It's just right there. It's very cool. Uh, frozen crib, kind of the same thing. But you can, you, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Am amiable history gives you a little more reverb but these are more tight. When you go down to these crazy ones, you're gonna get some serious, unique reverb. And there you go. So if I go to root, I can go back to the default reverb right here. And we'll click close on that. And let's get our main window back. So you can adjust it right here. We go super wet, which gives us this crazy hall effect. And then we'll go back here, adjust your size, and you can hear it adjusting the modulation on there. So that's like the speed of the reverb. So the lower we go, or the higher we go in the size, the 
bigger the kind of room sound we're gonna get. And length is the same way. It's the length of the thing of the actual echo. So you can hear really echo. So if we go super big with a super long echo, and there you go. Pretty cool stuff. This one's really, really easy. So we're gonna go with stadium. I don't think we want it quite that big a size and a length can be more like this. And that still gives us what we're looking for. Close that out. And it still gives us what we're looking for. We'll turn it off. The last one I want to show you here is the robot voice. So we're going to click the plus. The robot voice is one of my favorites. I can't not show you that. So we're going to click this plus. We're going to go into VST. We'll call it robot. And we're going to click OK. We're going to select Auburn Sounds Growlion. This, I don't know how you say it, but that's what we're going to select. And we're going to open the plugin interface. I know this one looks complicated, but it's not too bad. So this right here is a pitch shift. And so you can do kind of the same thing you can do with the other one. But we're going to go low. So this is kind of an auto tuner. So when you adjust some of these settings up, you can really get a distinctive robot flavor to the way they sound. And you can make it smooth or fast or slow. And you can set the pitch right here. And so if I go low and then I adjust this, there we go. So now you can adjust the gain on the source and the voice. And we can turn this down so that really gives us some of that rumble. And playing with this settings in here and just a little bit of effort on the way that you produce your voice, you can get some pretty epic robot voices out of here. Like Cylon voices and all that kind of cool stuff. I love it. So if we close this out, we can turn off our robot voice. How would you use this most effectively? To me, this is most effective to set up your entire video scene right off the bat. So in other words, if you have any kind of uh, any kind of camera frame that you use or whatever, you want to set that up. You want to set up all your voice changer stuff in one in a scene so that your camera is set and ready to go because you don't want to have to recreate these voices in every one of your scenes. So if I take this scene here and I just name it um, camera, and there we go. So we've got this name camera. Now all I have to do is I can go to this scene and I can add a scene and we can select our camera scene and now our camera's in here and the best part is it has all of our voices in it and we can use those voices with a hotkey that we set up. So let me show you how to set up hotkeys real quick. Did you know that every viewer has a superpower? Video viewers can supercharge any video just by clicking that little thumbs up down below. This simple act pushes content you enjoy out to a much wider audience so others can learn cool OBS tricks too. If this if this content is helpful, please use your superpower and click that like button. It really does help me out and it'll make my cat Dusty really happy. To add hotkeys to these, we need to add a script to turn filters on and off. This is the page you're going to be on. I'll leave a link to the description so you can get here. It's really easy. We're just going to click on this OBS filter hotkeys and we're going to go to the download. And all we have to do is download this zip source code right here. Just save it to our file directory. We're going to go into that directory and unzip that file. And we're going to go in here and we're going to get these LAU files. We're going to right click and copy them. And then we need to just go to where they're installed. So we want to go, yours is probably going to be in program files, all that kind of, the standard OBS directory. Mine's a little bit different, but we're going to go into the OBS studio directory. We want to go into data. Then we want to go into OBS plugins. I know it looks like it should be OBS scripting, but it isn't. We are going to go into OBS plugins. 
And then we're going to go to front end tools and scripts. And this is where all the scripts are saved. This is where it looks for, for your scripts. And we're just gonna right click and paste those scripts in here. Now we have both of our scripts pasted in. We'll be able to go ahead and use hotkeys for our filters. So then here in OBS, we're just gonna go to tools and scripts. And we're gonna click this plus button. We're gonna load our two scripts in here. Just select them both and click open. There we go, they're loaded in. And it gives you a little bit of instruction here. I'll explain all that stuff later. We're gonna click close. And now if we go into filters, we just have to add this little script, filter hotkeys audio. There we go, we add that in there, click okay. And click close and we're all set. We just go into settings and then hotkeys. And we're gonna type in girl and that's gonna bring up our girl hotkey. And we wanna use the number three hotkey. This is to hold down the button. So we're gonna add our number one on our number pad there. And we're gonna go to low and we're gonna add number two on the three key. And we're going to go to the next one, which is our stadium one. We're going to add the number three to the three hotkey. And the last one robot. And we're going to add the number four to the number three hotkey. And now if we scroll through, we can check all of these and they all have hotkeys under the number three key. We're gonna click okay. Now we're ready to use our hotkeys. So now that we have these programmed in, I can just hold down that key and sound like a girl. Or I can change my voice way down low. Or I can sound like I'm in a stadium. Or maybe we're with the robot. And you can combine any of these, of course, if you wanted to, but it's really that simple. Now, if you wanted to choose to turn them on and off so you don't have to hold the key down, instead of choosing the three, choose the two. So let me show you what I mean. If I go into settings and I go into hotkeys, if I go into girl and let's just, so instead of assigning it to the number one on three, if I assign it to number one on two right here, now if I just tap the number one key, it's going to stay on as long as I don't tap the number one key again. And when I'm done with this voice, I can just, you know, tap the key again. And it turns it off. And it's that simple. So there are three different ways to set these up. Zero is on, one is off. If you select number two to assign your hotkey to, then when you click it once, it will be on. And when you click it once again, it will be off. And then of course, if you select number three and assign your hotkey to that, if you just hold it down, your voice will stay changed until you let it go. And to me, that's the easiest way to do it on the fly as long as you remember what your hotkeys are. And <laughs> this is a lot of fun and there's not a lot of delay and it's really easy and guess what it's also completely free which is totally sweet it's going to work on windows and mac for most of these plugins and there's not just the plugins that i showed you there are hundreds of free vst plugins out there so if you don't like the voices that i showed you today you can go out there download different ones and create your own it's awesome it's super easy stuff and totally free let me know what voices you want to create and if you want to see how you can zoom cameras in your live streams using obs you should check this video out are you always looking for tools tips and tricks that can help make you a better youtuber or live streamer then why not subscribe to the channel it's totally free my name is michael fire jr thank you so much for watching have a great day and i'll see you in the next one